Well, um, I suppose be I suppose before I start, I should say that I crashed again right at the end of the uh, last episode. So, I'm not exactly sure if I lost anything, specifically as a result of that. But that's one of the great things about autosaves. So currently I'm at peace. Um, apparently I'm trying to spear Omen. Or already speared. I assume that we're probably gonna have them breaking or trying to break away in a moment. So I guess I, I have yet to uh, split apart these guys yet a little bit, so... I have to send a couple infantry over again. Or, I guess I'm just saying over one infantry. Cool. Can build this up. Can build railroads. Now, it's not a sure thing that Omen is going to try and break from my spear, but it seems like they probably will. I mean, if the CPU did it once, they'll probably do it again. Uh, let's build some more infantry. I'm not sure why my uh, game keeps crashing this much. It really should be crashing this much, specifically. And maybe I'm lucky they won't actually try and break my spear again. But, um... Yeah. I'm not really sure why my I'm, my computer is crashing so much with uh, this game at the moment. It should be crashing this much. This game isn't exactly stable because it's an old game, but it's not that old. So I'm thinking I may um, I may really have a big problem with my uh, graphics card. Oh, Netherlands wants me to come help him out. So we got French Colonial Conquest of Timbuktu from uh, the Netherlands. Um, unless someone comes to help them out, I don't think uh, we're going to help them out at all. Yeah, he's just allied to me. Sorry, dude, but uh, we're not going to help you out. So lose some prestige and ally again. I'm probably just gonna stick with this being allied to the United Kingdom at this point. It's you know very annoying having to like constantly deal with um, you know people attacking each other. I will say this: I'm kind of disappointed I didn't uh, join on the British side over here. It looks like Britain's doing pretty okay going after, uh, or Germany's going pre uh, pretty well going after Britain over here. And let's just go naval plans. Look at that, German's offering alliance again. Sure, I'll, off I'll take that alliance again. Apparently got uh, a bunch of you guys over here. We'll smash these guys up pretty quick. So it looks like they're not going to try and break my spear anymore, Omen, or anyone else. That's quite nice. Oh, there we go. So there we go. Omens decide to try and break free. We say no to that. We're going to basically go smack him. And we'll have... Uh, 25,000 guys go here. 
Jump in the boats here, go over here. Egypt decided to go to war with me, but who really cares about Egypt? I do actually have a board of Egypt apparently over here. We'll have uh, you go over here. And Austria-Hungary wants to ally with me again. Apparently they're rank uh, 9 at this point, so they're coming back in rank a little bit. They're allied to Belgium, they have a truce with uh, Italy. That's the thing about Austria, they're gonna basically be tangling with Italy a whole lot. Actually, diplomacy. Hmm. I'm gonna say that I still want I still don't want bar of Austria-Hungary, so no, we're not gonna go into a war with you. Nope, oh, the Egypt Egyptians have gone over there. Uh you guys are just gonna pop out right here. You guys will go there. Alright, so something I note by the way is that you actually get told when you have rebels in the spear if you're, uh, you know, spearlings, so to speak. I never really liked this too much, but basically you can see, um, what type of, like, you know, uh, rebels and such are happening inside of, like, your allies' jurisdictions. So if you go over here. You guys can split up. You can go right there. Wait, that's the same problems, isn't it? Well, whatever, just go there. I will make Omen pay for uh, trying to leave my spear without permission. Because yes, you need permission to leave my spear. Or you become a great power, you can also do that too. Awesome, a little bit of naval tech, let's get some more. Nope, oh, someone required Timbuktu. Smashing that army real quick. Oh, there was a problems here. Good. Go smash it. Let's say no to the peace with the Netherlands because they're probably going to get attacked again at some point in the future. While I'm at, we should probably form a CB on Nedge. As conquered. We've almost conquered every little bit of Omen. Which is very nice. Well, let's just wait for the Egyptians there. I'm going to bring these guys up and we'll smash them. Combined smash. Apparently I'm losing my great power status yet again. Probably to Austro-Hungary. But it's fine. I'm, I'm actually going to get some... Uh... You'll basically get yourself more prestige if um, you basically conquer people. So winning wars basically gets you prestige. Uh, decreased relations yet again. 
Bass is trying to stay in my good graces so he doesn't get attacked. That won't save him though. Let's see, I'm going to take out the artillery here and an infantry. Put him right there. Excellent. Another piece of um, military tech out of the way. Let's go. Let's go pick up this so I get more prestige. Uh, crashes, crashes, lots and lots of crashes. Anyhow, I'm still at war with the uh, Omen in Egypt over here. But it's getting, it, it's getting kind of annoying, so this one will probably be the last... Uh, I'm actually thinking I'm going to take a, just a period of break for um, recording here, because I'm, I'm having so many crashes at this point. You know what, let's just decrease the relation with you again. Paraguay's at full, great. I'm going to start influencing Yemen soon. All right, we lost a few months yet again, but oh well. I'll smash in the Yemen yet again. Over here in Asoa. Yet again. Okay, justify a goal we're gonna establish protector on Nedge. Eat him up. Yeah, I wonder if it's like the heat of like, you know, you no, know, right now it's really hot. Pretty hot in this room, so I wonder if it's like it's starting to affect my computer itself. They acquired Timbuk 2, that already happened. You guys just pile over here. Get these guys ready over here. Nice. Bring these guys up over here. And there goes Omen. They've been completely crushed. Actually, you guys can go in a boat. First to the pole. We'll go for that vent again. And yeah, I realize I'm trying to build shipyards, but I also want to build railways at, you know, an extended pace as well. The thing about railways is that they really do help you out economically in the, in the long run, so you want to try and pick up as many railways as possible when you can. Because railways are awesome. Nope, he stopped moving, so I guess he saw me coming. He's like, nope, not gonna go there. Be 
be dropped off right there, those guys. Bunch them up in a new group. The thing about the Netherlands, I think they want to keep allying me because I got border with them right here. I think. Potentially. I'm not really sure. And Yemen, I can uh, increase the opinion of you. Just gobbling up all these little nations as I, you know, see fit. Cool. So, you've got no allies. I think you're only friend with me. Fair war. go here. You guys can go there. You can go here. I'm actually going to send these guys up to Red Sea over here and I'm going to basically start to attacking Egypt up here. In Dongola's uh, state. Nope. I can influence Yemen some more. Let's see here, I'll send you right there, you up here, he's actually going to try and uh, apparently come after me, so I'll send my troops out to kill him. Without success yet again, that's kind of annoying. Get in there, kill him. Crush that Egyptian army a little bit there. Um, we got movements for what? And apparently we lost a whole lot of movements for some reason, but that's fine. Let's go for this whatever then. Trink of pensions. Trink of pensions for the poor. Expeditions have disappeared without trace. The second expedition to reach the North, North Pole is to disappear, disappear without trace. We are now presumed lost. To make a fair attempt in this quest. So eventually I can stop trying this, but we'll try yet again. Hopefully I'll get it, because it is a nice prestige boost to get that one. If you can. I'm just going to smash up Egypt where I can over here. Everyone attacks. I'm surprised Egypt's not giving up. Sort of. Not really. Sometimes the, the CPU will uh, let themselves be lambasted for quite a while before to give up. All these things have poor supply limits. Neg, let's just uh, annex you. Egypt. <sighs> Egypt, you're going to be annoying, aren't you? Oh well. Yeah, Nej has very poor, poor ability to basically support troops all over the place here. Put that guy there. I 
All right, Yemen. So I want to, I could probably add a Yemen to my spear, but I actually don't want to specifically do this unless I feel that they're really going to be attacked. So we're just going to decrease the relations a little bit. Now I'm just going to look at the people who are around. You know, maybe I'll spear Austro-Hungary just for the hell of it. You're still losing troops. Let's send these guys over in this direction. Ah, well, that's just basically going to keep going up because of, uh, you know, I'm influencing Yemen. I'm not really a big fan, I think, I think I've already said this, of like the uh, diplomatic game with like spearing of nations and such. It basically requires a, soul, a whole lot of multitasking for it. It's not one of the better elements of this game. Men for the colonies! Land, liberty, labor. The colonial office has suggested we re or recruitment drive to get more of our people to migrate to the colonies, so as to establish more Persian per 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 presence in them. The office has found a colony which should seem doable for, for a drive and proposal is really only awaiting our signature. So I can do this, basically give um, population growth, assimilation rate, a life rating, and immigration attraction in Zanzibar, or I can focus on the home front if I want to. This is good, I guess, but um, I also like this as well. Personally, I think it's better to get more Persians in like the home front before doing anything else. All right, you know what? I'm actually going to uh, split these up a little bit further. Six guys can go here. Because these guys are all basically taking attrition as a thing. Annoyingly. Put one here for now. Make sure I keep attacking and attacking and attacking and attacking. It's a few too many guys, but it's fine. I can basically take away a few of these guys, like the, him and him. Basically, I'm going to leave these guys here so they can like move into like Hejaz or Yemen as needed for conquering them. You go up there. I'm nearing on Cairo, at least. It'd be nice if they gave up, but apparently not going to do that to me, so... Let's get more prestige. And hit Cairo. Capital of Egypt is under siege. Okay, you're gonna say hi there, um, Egypt to my ideals. They will accept, okay. So basically I add Omen to my spear, and I'm first to the North Pole, hooray! Our intrepid explorers have been the first to raise a flag at the North Pole, 
and I've brought glory and prestige to our great country, a glorious day for science to our nation. So basically, you get a nice little prestige bonus from this. And that actually boosts me into uh, seventh place above China over here, which is quite nice. All right, all of you just um, just make your way out. And Jacobin Rebels, of course. Quite a few of them, apparently. Yeah, it's coming to a point where it's almost like I need to keep my guys on constant attack. Alright, you guys are allied to uh, Spain and Russia. Hmm, that's actually pretty pretty decent for, uh... Yeah, I wouldn't mind being allied to Spain, so sure. I'll accept this. See how that works for me. We'll increase relations with you, we'll, uh... Increase relations with you. Excellent, a little bit more. Nope. Let's drop you guys here. Nice, okay, so eventually once you get to the 1900s, you start to get more resources. Um, it's worth knowing that you start basically having rubber get, uh, you know, discovered in like several places. And additionally, in like these places in like, you know, Dubai and like, uh, um, you know, out here in Arabia, some of these places will start turning into oil, which will be awesome. So I'll be a big oil power. Along with like, say, Calgary Cant over here, Venezuela's, um, some other places as well. Ooh, I can ally, uh, um, okay, why not? Let's ally a whole lot of people. Look at my alliances. I'm allied with uh, Germany, the US, and Spain. Apparently I lost English, England as an ally, ally I guess, uh, from something. Oh well. What are you up to? I got these soldiers that are sitting here doing nothing. Cool, I'll ID the Ammon Empire again. Damn Jacobins are starting to conquer stuff over here, sadly. Luckily, this armor is pretty strong, so it should be able to take care of all these guys. Let's build a couple engineers. Increased relations with uh, Austria-Hungary over here. Oh, okay. Um, it's worth knowing, by the way, that if this is if this is showing like you know zero gain influence, then you won't actually gain any influence with the people. So apparently, I can't um, spear Austria-Hungary because they're a little bit too big. 
I guess for me. That's a bit of a nuisance. Well, well, that's fine. Uh, trigger subsidies. There's the big stack is gonna die. I'm not sure how uh, your your um, rebel hunting basically works. Basically, sometimes your army will go on sea stuff, but other times it'll basically go hunt down the armies. So like it's gonna go here and start unseizing this. And instead of like going to attack that for some reason, I'm not really sure how it works, but it works pretty fine. The rebel hunting thing in this game. It's a really nice option just to sort of hunt rebels. And probably in the future I'm going to attack Yemen here. Why not? We'll start, we'll start spearing Spain, if possible. Apparently, Austro-Hungary has another problem ha happening. Yeah, no one's gonna back him. And cool, I can go over here. Do stuff. It looks like France is actually trying to spear Italy, so I'm not sure how effective we'll be trying to spear themselves, but we'll try. Alright, let's get some more naval bases going. Like here in Nedge, I can build a naval base. I'm already upgrading these guys up a little bit, or I should be. I'm gonna try and get some fours basically on the on the coast over around here. Expand this one. I'll save save my money for other stuff at the moment. Like all that stuff. Yeah, so, so in some ways this game is a lot more, you know, it's equal parts combat, but also a whole lot of like, you know, the diplomatic and economic management. And in some ways it's sort of annoying how it sort of accepts the economic management sometimes. I don't like how the Americans are uh, influencing Paraguay here. They're actually doing it too. I'm not sure, but I think you lose prestige if people pull you, pull, um, get pulled out of your spear, so... We're possibly want to try and avoid that happening. Excellent. Let's get some iron steamers. Interesting. Brunei is inspired by anyone for some reason. 
And apparently China's no longer allied to Dynam over here. That's interesting too. Normally as like, you know, any other nation I'd be conquering Dynam or Brunei. Like with like the European nations, but as Persia it's kind of beneficial to go after these other nations that are close by. And cool, I've got some rubber. I'm also making lots of money at this point, so... Let's expand this base. Get this going up a little bit more. Build some bases all over the place. Alright, I can uh, do stuff for Italy here. So I can increase our opinion of them. Apparently I got dropped down to Cordial I, 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 um, from France over here, so they probably dump, dumped me down a little bit. And it looks like they're trying to discourage me from, uh, you know, influencing Spain as well. Those bastards, French. I have to watch that because that can actually ruin your relations if you're not careful. When you're basically being like, you know, uh, knocked down by like the other nations and stuff, that actually reduces your relations with them a little bit. They don't really like it when you're like, you know, you try to spear stuff, they're, they're, they're actively trying to go after too. Competition, you know, they want to, you know, have it for themselves. And artillery. Excellent, I got iron steamers, so that means I can uh, build ironclads and stuff. I'm actually going to try and build steel, um, steel steamers, which can actually enable access to the cruiser. Which would be cool to build at some point. And I'm not sure how long I'm basically going to be, um... Ooh, nice. Got some prestige for a Nobel Prize. Not, I'm not sure how long this episode's gone, and because of all the crashes, I'm sort of, like, you know, wary of, like, continuing to play too long. Because the game might crash on me again at any given moment, it seems. So what I'm likely to do is, once these guys just sort of meet up, I'm going to basically, uh... Merge and say, that's pretty much it for this episode. When I get the chance, I'll maybe go after, like, uh... Hejaz or, uh, Yemen to try and annex them. But until then, that'll be it for this episode. I'll spend my points where, you know, possible for the moment. Persian comments apparently. Okay, we'll kill those guys first. Wow, that's a lot of communists. Uh, you guys just go sit there. Lots and lots of these guys. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to have to pull more guys out here. By the way, something uh, I guess before I leave, you have to sort of watch out for your capital when you get seized by, re uh, by uh, rebels like this. If they take your capital, then um, it's very possible that you can like switch over to communism without warning. So I have to send these guys up here really quick, uh, promptly, I think. Wow, I keep getting lots of rebels. Now I got Jacobin rebels to deal with. And the numbers keep swelling more and more. Alright, conquer a couple promises in here already. Yeah, this is a bad thing about having high militancy. If it gets too high, then you start having like all these rebels spawn constantly. And apparently I've got to worry about Ethiopia yet again. Uh, let's call my allies and see if they'll come this come down to size, I think, at this point. Uh, basically, if you come down to size, you don't like, add them to your spear, but you can get base war reparations and stuff like that against Ethiopia. 
Hopefully my allies will join me. So Almond didn't join me. Spain didn't join me. The US did join me. And the Germans did join me. Now, here's something to note that I haven't really uh, seen before. But basically, um, when you basically attack someone and you call in an ally who's stronger than you, they'll basically take over the leadership for you. So Germany is much stronger than me, and so they've taken over leadership in the war. So basically, they're going to basically um, attack Ethiopia for me. But they'll also be the leaders of the war, too. You guys go here. You can merge these guys up, and they can go up in this direction. Move these guys over here for now. There are so many rebels. Oh, that's bad. Now, basically, if your capital gets sieged and you have any it's by rebels, what can happen basically if you don't unseize that fast enough? Essentially, if like say the Jacobins are holding that, um, their like victory conditions are only if they hold your capital. If um, they don't change, if that doesn't change in three days, it's very possible that uh, I'm going to turn into a Jacobin or Persian communist uh, commune, basically, as a result of it. So these guys need to unseize that pronto. Okay, you guys can go here. I haven't really checked down here, but I've got all right, no rebels over here, which is nice. It's possible rebels can also spawn in your other um, in your colonies too, which likely they aren't. Ethiopia's attacking me. Well, let's move these guys here. I have troops right next to Ethiopia. I should be attacking them. So we'll do that. Luckily, I'm unseizing my capital quite fast, so that's no longer a threat. No more threat me basically losing my uh, status as a, you know, absolute monarchy or Persian constitution area where I am right now. I have so many rebels around. Hey, China wants to ally me. Okay. So now I'm allied to China. Now it's worth knowing by the way that China, because they only just became a great power, their military tech is going to be like, uh, well, they'll have lots of guys, but they'll have like even worse military tech than me. So these guys, even though like there's lots of like brigades in China, they're absolutely shit at fighting. So they can die really easily. Essentially, you know, human wave attack basically is what they have to do. To win. I have to go dies down down here. Send these guys here, and over there. Hey, look at that. there's a German fleet. It looks like they've got battleships and stuff. Or also transports. Okay. So German are, are landing troops to attack. Sure, I'll take that. I can spear a bunch of people, so let's do that. I can increase my opinion in uh, Italy. I'm surprised uh, Fran France isn't trying to ban me over here. That's good enough. Lots of battles going on. Now I got elections. Um, close on the bars.
smash these guys up here or up there. You guys can go hit Gondor. Yeah, this is a little bit too fast to speed to be going at right now, so I'm going to actually turn it down to four. There's so much going on. I'm being smashed. My economy and everything from these damn rebels. The thing about rebels is that they really smash up your economy if you let them. Basically, anywhere where it's getting like siege, my factories are unable to basically put, um, output stuff. So, like, if they're like sieging up eastern Afghanistan, if it sieges all the way, then I won't be able to do anything there. Because, you know, all the factories will be out of work. I can go here to Italy. And yeah, they keep bumping me down to France, so let's just stop that then. Increase relations with France up to 200. Constantly decrease my relations with Italy over there. France is. Hey, look at that. There's an American fleet here. Build some more army. Cool, so I can build modders. But I can't build cruisers or ironclads just yet. What I'm actually trying to get is the, is the cruisers, because basically once you can build cruisers, they're like one of the end game ships. Cruisers are basically like a light game ending game ship that basically fires torpedoes, I think kind of like patrol boats and uh, stuff like that. The familiar institution. As, as average life expectancies have increased over the years, more and more families have, take, have, to, uh, have had to take care of the elderly who are no longer able to provide for themselves. The social makeup of our of country is changing, and without much in the way of national plan for the elderly and disabled, a lot are falling behind between the cracks in the system. Conservatives have, by and large, taken the stance that the family is the first and last social support structure for the elderly, and an increasing role for the government in the area threatens to unravel important social bonds. Liberals, on the other hand, see our pensions tragically lacking, pointing to the many who seem seemingly go without aid. So, argue for pension raise, believe we must buy our time, or on a current must reverse this decision? So, Basically, there's stuff you can do here. I like the idea of maybe uh, getting higher pensions. So we'll do that. All right. Well, it looks like the role system is being handled here. Slowly. I've got so many troops though going on in this area. Okay, you guys can't rebel hunt. So let's go here. Now, it's worth knowing, by the way, until you actually, like, you know, um, more or less full siege it, you can't be guaranteed when you're going to pull out of these wars. Basically, uh, because I'm not the war leader, I can't actually individually, or I can. Okay. Well, we're done in Ethiopia. But it's worth knowing, by the way, that, um, there's still actually a war here, apparently. So, it looks like the U.S. is going to annex Ethiopia. I actually didn't want them to do that, but... It's not a whole lot I can do this as a result of this. Basically, U.S. is going to try and e annex Ethiopia and they'll uh, stick out like a f sore thumb here. That's one of the bad things about calling in allies, so you don't want to do that because, you know, eventually the allies might decide to, you know, add demands. In this case, they decide to annex uh, Ethiopia on me. There's nothing I can really do to stop them from uh, trying to do that. So yeah, basically we'll try and annex it. So I don't know why they're sort of sitting up here, these guys. Spain. 
I'm gonna influence my ear a little bit. Alright, that's pretty much good enough. We fought a lot of these rebels, there's gonna be a, a few more to fight, but... We'll basically pick it up for the next episode where we're basically finishing off the rebels that, you know, basically hit me. For now, take care.